Yo, what's going on everyone? Mutz Unedited, we're back in the damn building, man. Just want to big up Blaze Barbershop, first of all, every time. Shout out everyone that's been locking in. Um, listen, last episode I want to touch on quickly, um, wicked response, man. We, we're loving it, I can't lie. I, think that I must have went off on a rant or something someplace because, I don't know, I've been getting a lot of responses and that. And um, yeah, man, shout out everyone that's been locking in, sharing, commenting, liking, posting, whatever. Big up you lot, man. But this week, listen, I told you lot we had a guest locked in last week. We've now moved that forward. But well, we've got another special guest in the building for you lot. Um, Obviously, we've had our athletes and our pro boxers and that, and this time we're going to stay in the fighting world, you get me? And um, let man introduce to you, man, no, no... Oh, sorry, give me one second, brother. Sorry, unedited, innit? This is what happens. That's but yeah, listen, first Muay Thai <laughs> fighter in the building, not mixed martial artist, innit? Like, <laughs> I've, said, I've said that outside, no, but yeah, mate. no. Muay Thai boxer, man, fighting at the Minotaur gym. My man, Dean Blunt. In the damn building, what's going on, my okay, boss? All good. Are you all good? good? Yeah, yeah. Happy to be here, man. Yeah. yeah. I listen, man. It's wicked to have you down. Um, yeah, like I was saying, you. I don't know if you have you, if you've locked in previously or seen any of our work and that, but mm -hmm. we've had a few athletes in and that. But we ha we ain't we've spoke a lot about MMA and fighting, boxing, whatnot. But combat sports. Combat man. sports. Yeah, but we ain't touched on. Some big boxing names though, still. So that's. Yeah. Listen, well, I big up. All the people that have locked in and, and, and come and supported us. Shout out Jordan Reynolds every time, man. Um, Linus, shout out Linus Shadolfia. Shout out Michael Devine. All of you, man. But um, yeah, we've had a lot of support. We, you know, we've been lucky to have a few of these people in because mm. you get, I know they're busy people and that. But um, I said to Blaine, we've had, we've had your name on the list for a little while. Um, there's me the whole time thinking it's mixed martial arts, but it's not. It's Muay Thai. Yeah, you get yeah. me? But obviously, we're here to learn, man. So let, let them know, like... Um, let them know about you, man. Give me a quick rundown, my bro. Yeah, so a quick rundown. I have like a nickname uh, in fighting the Stoic Striker. Uh, we can get into that a bit later. My pro record is uh, 12 and 5. So 12 wins, 5 losses. Um, I've won a ISK British title a few years ago. Open uh, world title. It's kind of like an amateur world title. Um, but yeah, no, just Thai boxing is like my life. I love it. I, yeah. I used to train out of a gym called Kangrang, which is in Dunstable. Okay. Uh, that shut down uh just after covid basically covid just kind of like ruined it so oh, sure. come to like a graduate end from there but that was that was who i was with for like basically my, my whole fight career and okay. then since then i moved over to minosaur's gym which is in hemel yeah uh, under lewis taylor since then i've had uh three fights with uh, minosaur's uh but yeah the future is looking good i hope I mean, it's Going well. So you've been in, um, you started with Muay Thai, I take it. Yeah, pr yeah, pretty much. So I started, I started actually just like a little like Muay Thai fitness class in like a DW gym, like a little leather center sort of thing. Yeah. It's just like going in, 100 punches, 100 kicks, just kind of for fitness really. And then I figured actually I, qu I quite like this. Even from like young, I always wanted to do like karate or taekwondo, you know. Oh, okay, that type of, things, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just never, never quite like materialized into anything. So when I found Thai boxing. I was just kind of like, okay, let me look a bit more into this. And yeah. Thai boxing for me, it stands out because it's it's just different from uh, you know kickboxing or, or boxing. Like, yeah, you know, as much yeah. respect to have for boxing and kickboxing and all them other sports, Muay Thai, it's got like such a kind of deep like history and culture behind it. And, yeah, uh, like when we were speaking outside, I was saying. Um from what I've seen, there's a lot of tradition and culture and... Yeah, that's Is it, it religion, would you say? Like, yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's like a big uh, like Buddhist kind of... Uh, yeah. Im impact on it, I suppose, being from Thailand, it's... Because uh, I see them doing like a tribal kind of dance stuff before they start. I don't know if you call it a dance, yeah, but like so a tribal like a, movement. Yeah, it's called yeah. like a Y crew. It's they have a snake wrapped around their yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, it's like a ceremonial dance just to show like respect to your trainers, like friends, family, okay. and things like that. And kind of like they, they use it to like ward off evil spirits and stuff. So it's quite like a traditional kind of... Um, like martial arts. It's really. a violent sport though, isn't it? It is, man. It is. I think it's the most violent stand up sport there is, to be honest. Because you know, when it's like, okay, boxing, you're trading, trading leather. Mm. Um, use lots of trading like shins and elbows yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like. Have you ever knocked your, like, stubbed your toe or have you ever hit your shin on something and you just want to die for I a second? I a bike peg, like. <laughs> oh my. The bike peg. <laughs> that just brought pain. back memories, but I could feel And then you've got a lump there in like five seconds. Yeah. Like, that's it's, it. And you, you're trading shins with each other, brother. Yeah, that's, that's it. mad. So it's ten ounce gloves, spare shin, elbows, knees, a lot. You know. You get used to the the scraping and the. Yeah, I suppose so. Like you, you kind of like get 
your shins and stuff get conditioned over time. Like, just, do you guys wear like MMA gloves or is um, it like boxing gloves? It's boxing gloves, but there is some promotions now, and there's like a bit of a movement where people are they light? Are they boxing gloves or they'll be the same ten ounce? Same. Yeah, so boxers oh, okay. will be in tens. We're in tens. Okay. I think if you're like a bit lighter, maybe like sixty-seven kilos under, you can fight in like eight ounce gloves. Okay. Um, obviously that's not doesn't apply to my fat ass because I'm a lot heavier. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's been like a push lately where people are trying to fight in like um, MMA gloves from oh, okay. like one, ch- this, this promotion, one championship, they're trying to push it a lot more. They yeah. they do a lot of that. So they do both, but you can fight in like a, the, the four ounce gloves, I think they are, like the MMA oh, gloves. Yeah. So. so like, what would you say is the main difference? Because obviously for me, I don't know much about Muay I don't know if these lot do either, um, but like, what's the main difference between MMA and, and Muay Thai? There's, well, a lot of uh, MMA, Muay Thai has like a, quite a big influence in MMA because MMA can, is literally just mixed martial arts. So it could be any form of martial arts you want. So you yeah. could be like a Taekwondo fighter and no like Jiu Jitsu, or you could yeah, be like a, yeah. a Muay Thai fighter with wrestling. Yeah. So you can kind of like, it's a combination of whatever martial arts you feel fits best to kind yeah, of compete. Yeah. So that's basically how it goes. So what I do is just obviously strictly stand up. It's, um, you know, can knock them down, you've got to let them get back up, that sort of stuff. It's just yeah. everything standing, basically. And it's just arms, legs? Pretty much, yeah. They call it like the art of eight limbs, because you'll be like punching, kicking, knees, elbows, like. Eight limbs? Something. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be like one, two, three. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah eight limbs, I was thinking yeah. shit, I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking this whole time, I thought I had like. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I think in like really, really mm-hmm. traditional, they, they used to call it uh, Moi Boran. So okay. this is like going way back. And yeah. uh, that was like headbutts and all sorts, man. Like, yeah, if you ever see the On Back movies. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Tony, Tony Jarge. Yeah, Tony Jarge, yeah, like yeah. headbutts and spinning kicks. And What's that, the one yeah. where he had with the elephant? Yeah, Did you watch um, that movie? And, and he tried I can't remember which one that is, but yeah. It's like, aye, it's mad. Tony yeah. Jarge, aye, trust me. Yeah. Is, that, is that Muay Thai? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm tapped yeah, in then, awesome. basically. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tapped in from years that's ago. I've watched that I just leave, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So basically, what Muay Thai is. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, that's sick though, man. That's, um, yeah, that's big, man. Like, obviously, I, listen, anyone who's going to get in there like you lot and trade like that, man, mm. like, I, I have to respect that. You get me? Yeah, that's it. And even from, from like a martial mm. arts point of view, like yeah. I feel the same with anyone else. Like anyone who gets yeah, you know, of the ropes, I think. But how did you feel, like, I mean, obviously you've got so many other sports, um, mm. like boxing and whatnot, um, even UFC nowadays is so big. Yeah, what, yeah. what made you go into something that's not that mainstream, you know? To be honest, I think probably just like... Well, did you have someone that you looked up to, done it, or a family member? Or not, or? not even really. No. Like I said, it was just, I was doing it in like a fitness gym and they did brand it as like Muay Thai fitness. Oh, okay. Um, and then from there, it was kind of like a quick Google search, like Muay Thai gyms local. And it kind yeah. of just went from there and I yeah. just fell into that way. Like for me, it was never, I probably didn't even know about Muay Thai to be honest before okay. then. So it was just kind of, that's, that's the martial that I fell into. And then, you just but, stayed but it. now it's like, other than from a money point of view, that's the martial art I pick every time. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I feel like if I put the same amount of effort into boxing yeah. or, or MMA, you know, I've done like a bit of jiu-jitsu before and things like that, but I'm not anywhere near versed enough to be yeah. you know, a fighter and that. But the money is a lot more in boxing and MMA. I know you don't do it for the money, but, but you know, it's it helps. More, yeah. it helps. Of, if you're of comfortable. Course. It's, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Like, um, is, it, but is, it, um, is it a growing business? Is it a growing sport? Like, is like, it, like I said earlier about the one championship, like they're one of the biggest like fight promotions. I think they're like almost surpassed UFC in oh, like so. yeah in, in revenue anyway. So because they're like uh, based over in Asia more or less, they're like Singapore and, and them sort of places. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, they're massive, absolutely massive. They do like uh, one million, I think it's like one million dollar tournaments and stuff. Sure. So the money's getting there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's what, so it just needs that exposure in it. You know pretty I mean? much. And the thing is like, if you watch UFC, mm. then you know about Muay Thai. Do you know what I mean? Because okay. some of the, yeah, yeah. like the baddest fighters, in my opinion anyway, have been Muay Thai fighters. Like Anderson Silva and these kind of guys. Oh, they're like, Muay Thai. Yeah, yeah, man grew main, up on Anderson. Their main thing that, is like yeah. Muay Thai. So it's kind of like, for strictly striking, I think, it's, I think it's the best one out there really. You watch a lot of UFC yourself? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you keep I'm in touch as, with it. Not as schooled as most people, but I, you know, I follow it. Same here, sure. yeah. It's like I don't know as much. Blaine's more of a. I'm more yeah, in the boxing man. world. Blaine knows he, he shit. Can't, he can't <laughs> you UFC know, you stuff, you know your stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I just watch the main shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. With the UFC, when it comes to it, like, it, do you know what I mean? Are you got any favorite fighters and that UFC fighters? Favorite fighters? I 
I don't know. I think um, obviously Anderson Silva's got to be way up there for He's sure. One of the goals, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. His style was mad, isn't it? Yeah. John Jones. I feel like. You check out Rod Tang. Who? Yeah, Rod Tang. Rod, Rod Tang. Tang. So he's, in, he's in one championship. And yeah. Rod Tang is probably probably the biggest Muay Thai fighter at the minute. Yeah. Like, yeah. Two. What is it? Two hundred fights. Yeah. Well, probably. I think it's like four or five hundred. Like some of these top ties are in like. Bro, it's like twenty five. Yeah. Tw- yeah. They're in like five hundred odd fights. These guys have had because they fight from like the age of. Like, yeah, you were saying. Like, yeah, they're like the breadwinners, isn't it? Yeah. So they got to go and get yeah. it. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's mad, man. That's mad. But um, so yourself, like um. Where obviously you've had twelve fights. Uh, so I've had twelve wins, five losses. Twelve wins, five losses. Yeah, five okay. 17, yeah. You fight in the UK more time or? Yeah, I mean, I fought in uh, I fought in Spain actually. That was probably one of my favourite kind of like fight moments. Yeah. Um, it's funny how it goes really because I had a I had a big fight in the UK on a promotion called Muay Thai Grand Prix. Uh, yeah. Like arguably one of the biggest uh, Muay Thai promotions in the UK. Okay. Um, I actually lost on that one. That was in Birmingham. I lost. I, I should have won. You know, not a bad decision. I just, I should have done more. Oh, it went to points. It did it go to points? And I think it was like, maybe like a few weeks later, we got this call from the Spanish promoter who says, oh, like, I want you to fight our lad. He's up and coming this and other. And I'm thinking like, so we've just come off a loss and you're asking me to fight your champ. Yeah. And I was like, that's a bit sus. But obviously I went over there and beat him. So oh, I think I was almost like supposed to be like a lamb to the slaughter. It's kind of like, yeah, let's so get this guy. Out of here. <laughs> so I've gone over to Spain. I didn't even go with my coach. I went with um, this promoter who set the fight up. Okay. So it was just me and this coach go over there. Yeah. So like I've literally just got there, had to um, cut loads of weight in a sauna when I'm there, jump on the scales, the next day fight. It was like, yeah. and then after the fight, stayed the night and come home. So it was literally like get to Spain, fight the champion, come home. So, so you won. Yeah, yeah. You've done your that, thing, yeah. come on, that's uh, what it's about, man. <laughs> that's what it's yeah. about, you get me? And it's all, like, for me, 100% that's what it's about. It's about just, like, sort of travelling the world with the martial arts and just constantly pushing yourself. And, like, obviously, as I said about the money before, the money would be, would be ideal. Would but be a bonus, yeah, for me, it's just, like, pushing myself every time, like, pushing the levels. How, how much more can I do? And that was, like, the natural progression for fighting anyway. Because, yeah. you're like, I never got into it and thought, all right, I'm going to be a world champion. Yeah, and a yeah. lot of people do have that, um, kind of mindset and if it works for them it works for them like if yeah. you say I'm going to achieve such and such but I set myself these kind of like mini goals so I'm like alright I'm training let me have my first fight let me try that see how it goes alright let me try and get my first belt see how yeah, it goes yeah. and it's like try to get yourself in the top 10 rankings and for me that is like more of a natural progression anyway so just like, knocking out the small goals yeah one yeah like that's it and course, eventually yeah. like that progression that title comes you know it's, yeah yeah so how would how did you come about um the british champion that one how did that all come about man so that that again was quite a cool story because i fought I, I was actually undefeated i had eight fights eight wins undefeated okay. um and like you see there's a lot of titles out there where people getting title shots and they're fighting these kind of nobodies from other countries and he said like, i've never heard of that guy before like his yeah, record don't yeah, make yeah. sense and Makes me know they get a belt, and it's all a bit kind of suspect. But my one, it was like I'd had eight fights, eight fights, eight wins, um, and I fought the area title holder for the British title. So it was like a vacant title. So the whole fight just kind of made sense. It's like I was on a bit of a momentum. He mm. was like the area title holder, and then we're fighting for the British. So okay. it was like, yeah. So it was cool, man. That was like that must must have been an experience. For you, yeah, you know, definitely, that. definitely. Yeah. Like I said, it was. I was looking at every, all the other guys in the gym, and they had belts and stuff and I thought yeah that's that's next to me that's, that's what, what I you want, want. Yeah, I want to kind of join that little that little club yeah, yeah. that strap you know like I'm posing all the pictures of it and that so when was your last fight last <clears throat> fight was I don't know was that probably two months ago I think yeah yeah two months how did that yeah. go so that one didn't go too well <laughs> but it's fine it's all good like so it's part I was of the game, isn't it? yeah 100% so we win or we learn that's the way I see it but yeah, yeah I was winning the fight up until the fourth round I think it was and he caught me with like a beautiful knee he caught Ooh, me with a knee where knee to in your elbow. face so knee to the ribs and straight away hit me with an elbow in the so face like, yeah so I like cut my elbow and I just didn't get up from the count so well, did it did it wind you yeah yeah I mean I was pretty fatigued anyway there was like um, I've gone away from it and think, all right, I yeah. need, there's some holes in my game with like strength and conditioning and some things like that. Because it's yeah, not always yeah. about fitness, like smashing a bag and smashing pads and getting to the weight. Like I was making weight in a not so safe way. And, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah of course. Just like yeah, there was yeah, holes yeah. in my game and it was like, so for me, I took that loss because I was like, yeah, all right, great. I know exactly what I need to work on. Whereas if I'd won that fight, 
because like I said, I was winning the fight. If I'd won that fight, you maybe, maybe, maybe I wouldn't have made them adjustments. So, yeah, 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 of course. Um, That's what I was saying to you outside before we were having a conversation, we were talking outside and I was like, in this day and age, I, I, I think it's, it was the turn of the Mayweather era where if you got a loss on your record, people feel like, it, you're yeah. a dickhead. Yeah, like you're done. That shit don't make no sense to me. Yeah, it never yeah. has because I'm like, bro, you, you, what have you learned? You haven't learned anything if you haven't learned to deal with or take that ill yeah. and come back from it. That's my thing. Do you know you what I mean? You just don't get better. Like, I think my first loss was simply because I just thought I was the shit. I was like, all right, I'm, you know, I mean, I, like I said, I was 8 and 0, 9 and 0. Yeah. And then they give me these guys, and I thought, yeah, whatever. I just keep ticking over. Run doing through them. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Every yeah, of course. every fight you have to step up. You have to take every opponent as if they're like the yeah. biggest fight you've got. And even that's if, the thing. Even yeah. if you don't think there might be, it's never like, judge someone by the cover because again, 100%. they might be as hungry as you are. As hungry as you are, sitting there thinking, I'm gonna yeah, run through that. But they're probably thinking the same thing. And, and who the knows? thing is, and the thing is, if you're supposed to be the guy and you yeah. know you're the guy, so you think, oh, I can take this guy. Like that guy is training because he knows you're. Like legit, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? He, he's got the biggest motivation there. And if you don't respect him that much, yeah. you're not going to really go hard yeah. for him. And that's, so if you, that's if you don't respect your opponent, you don't really respect yourself because you don't think that someone's going to be training hard enough to beat you. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Of course, you course. know, it's a, it's a savage game, man. And people, yeah, people go for it. You know. So you still you still knees deep in the game and that. You yeah, still, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I let my I'm a bit of a Paddy Pimlet. You know about Paddy Pimlet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. So I'm like balloon up between fights. I love my food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sit so, down. So, that's yeah. like that's like one of my downfalls, man. It's like yeah. I've never, you know, people say like, stay ready, stay ready, and I'm like, yeah, I'm do ready. Your but your weight's not ready. <laughs> you know what I mean, so, yeah. but I'm I'm addressing some. Yeah, no, that's what. Yeah, no, of course. Listen, yeah, man, I love it. You have to enjoy it. it as well. Do you know what yeah, I mean? You, for have, sure. you have to try. It's, yeah. it's a balance, isn't it? It's a balance in everything, isn't exactly it? That, you just yeah. have to find that balance. So obviously, we were speaking. You were saying like, um, you wouldn't mind. Obviously, you're looking into other fighting, combat kind of sports and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So you'd be open to. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to try my hand at some boxing, yeah. probably as early as even like early next year. Because, um, yeah. like, like I said, train up with Lewis Taylor at Minosaurs. Like, he's he's wicked on the pads anyway. So his his boxing skill was as himself as when he come up, he was like a Muay Thai fighter, but he'd always dabbled in boxing anyway. Yeah. So he'd uh, trained at boxing gyms and things like that. So he's okay. So I wouldn't even change camp to like another gym. I'd, I'd fight boxing out of minus. Just, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes sense. And we've got some guys in the gym that do that. We've got this guy Salah. He's like absolutely killing it. And he yeah. transitions from boxing to Muay Thai like all the time. He'll just nice. take a boxing fight to tick over. And so, yeah. So yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, fair play. So like, um, obviously that's that's given me more of a idea of you get me what the Muay Thai world's about. Mm. Um, what about outside of gym and outside of the Muay Thai world? What's your what's your day to day like? Like, you, um, you like your music or you into your, your obviously we know you're into your food and that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's a normal kind of day for you? Do you like your sports, your football, boxing? Um, I mean, I work, so I'm I'm not really quite in a position where I can. Well, I don't, to be honest, not many people are in yeah. a position where they can fight full time, especially in Muay Thai. Like yeah. they'll say they're a full time fighter, but they'll be teaching like personal training sessions in the gym and things like that. And for me personally, like I've tried that. I've been a full time fighter and just taught PTs in the gym, but I don't, I don't particularly like it. Yeah. I, I like teaching people, but for me, it's like I need to focus on myself. So when I'm in the gym, it's just about me training. So, so I still work a, a job as well, but. Um, yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to when I'm finished with fighting to then go and teach and try and, and then pass on my up. knowledge, you know what I mean? Because yeah, that's like, course. you can still enjoy the sport so much more by trying to like bring other people up and, and yeah, pass on yeah. that knowledge that you have. So that's something for the future for sure. So that sports wise football, you're not playing on football, watch, no, watch, watch football, you're no. not sporting no team. I don't mind football, but yeah. I've just like, as a kid, I used, to, I used to kick around, I used to like football, but I've never really like followed it on of who's who and who's doing what. So. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not big on football, to be honest, okay. but, um, but I don't hate it, you know what I mean? So. I hate that, yeah, of course, of course. So like, um, obviously you were saying about when you're done with your MMA, I mean, your Muay, my bad, again, see what I'm saying, your Muay Thai stuff, you're looking to then go into what, training, full yeah, time? Or, yeah, yeah, so... Because there's, again, like, obviously you're saying it's a growing sport, by the time you get there, mm. in that stage, I'm guessing it's going to be a lot more... Around, around a lot more than it is right now. Yeah, you know definitely. Saying? And I feel like also like the progression is crazy. So like when I was coming up, like, yeah. you know, obviously I'm not even that old, I'm 28 now, but when I was coming up, like first starting out, I used to watch the fights and things like that. And now obviously I still watch the fights. So when I'm not fighting, I go watch the fight shows. And the level now is 
It's mad. It's crazy. You know, yeah. these guys have had like four fights and they're class. Right. Absolutely class, yeah. And um, the progression is just mad. Like people are always getting so much better. So by the time I'm finishing my fight career and I'm teaching people, again, that the level is going to be somewhere else. Yeah, so of course. And again, it's good for the youth as well. Yeah. You 100%. know, like again, um, that's what they need, man, that guidance and that whatnot. I know like um, the government don't give a shit about boxing. They don't put no money mm. into boxing. And if anything, they just take it all away like Back in the day, there used to be a lot of boxing gyms and things like that and money going into it. But nowadays, councils or whatever, the government, they don't see it as an outlet for children. Like yeah. For something good. Absolutely. Do you yeah, see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for but, sure. Um, hopefully, that shit changes, man. And that, that's why I rate people like your, your Joshua's and that. You have to give it to him because mm. they're bringing that back. It's like they pump life back into the whole sport. Even, even Amir Khan, I was saying um, the other day to my friend, I went to watch the Conor Ben fight, his most recent fight. Yeah. And Amir Khan, I think he's like cool with Conor Ben in the sense that they're like chat or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. He's, he's like obviously jumped in the ring after Conor Ben's fight. Yeah, I saw that. And, yeah, and yeah, everyone yeah. was thinking he was trying to like ask But they for started pallying up. And everyone, yeah. started, everyone started booing him. And I was like, how are you going to boo someone like Amir Khan? Who yeah. literally like at one point almost arguably saved British boxing. He did, he did. Like, he did. it was crazy. And people were like yeah. booing him. And I'm just like... No, nah, he crazy. did, he did. Um, if he didn't do what he'd done at the Olympics and whatnot, mm. can't, he, he did, he, he brought that life back Absolutely. into the, well, you. Have you wouldn't have, have had the guys like Joshua come through if exactly. it weren't for Khan. But then the thing is, that's the thing, you know, they see Khan's been, listen, I'm, I, I like Khan as a boxer, I, I actually prefer Kel Brook, mm. but Khan um, was, as a boxer, I mean, but Khan, he'd done a lot and you can't knock him for that. Exactly. And I feel like it was, he got knocked out once or twice or three times or something, but, and they, and they rubbed him out. Yeah. But I'm like, what exactly about like, the mad nights yeah. when, he, when he made history? It's like, exactly what are we like going to forget about earlier, that? You know, you have one loss and people would like discredit you and it's like, come on, man. Like, Same thing with Joshua. Crazy. They, yeah. they just they rubbed him out now. And any, it's like, any fight he has, they're like, oh, he's not fought anyone good or he's fought people in a past their prime. Yeah. And I'm like, how is that his fault? He's fighting who's put in front of him. Do you know what? Thing. I'll be real. One of my favourite heavy time, heavyweight, all-time all heavyweight boxing um, matches is Joshua versus Klitschko. Mm. Go back and watch that. Just go back and watch it if you lot forgot. Oh, because yeah. that was, it, bro, what a night. What a night, bro. Mm. Like, he got put down horribly. And Klitschko is a beast, you mm. know what I'm saying? But bro, when, when, he, when he put Klitschko down and that brother, it's that like- like three rounds with Bambi legs. But it's like, what I'm saying, man. yeah. yeah. Don't get me, I, but then they just remember the later, they remember the Ruiz and they're gonna remember the Usyk or whatever. Mm. But um, I'm like, yo, let's not forget what he's done. He's beat the shit out of a lot of people, man, yeah. in a short amount of time. He fought a lot of big names. Do you see what I'm saying? He didn't do a Wilder and just knock over 40 nobodies. Like, That's it, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you have to respect that and you've got to rate that, man. But, mm. but, but this generation are quick to just forget and just rub out anyway. You lose once and they're like, hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? It's about yeah. the comeback. You get a lot of people who can sit at home behind a keyboard and be like, ah, you shit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, exactly that, man. Oh, man. Like, did you see that thing with Joshua when he goes into the, the college or the uni dorm or yeah, something? Yeah, that was a bit mad. Then, <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit mad. Like, yeah, he yeah. said, what did he say something about you lot shouting and shit or something? He said, when, when I start cracking jaws, I said, what? I'm, I'm not I'm 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 I still don't think he should be moving. I just think he's moving like how he is now. Yeah, but how he wants to, you know what I mean? Okay, do you know what I looked at? He's too much of a puppet, man. Yeah, but I looked at it like this. I looked at it like this, yeah. If. If you was in that situation and you're walking out of the uni or whatever, he's there to do a talk and someone's shouting like, hey, pussy, all that. Fury's going to fuck you up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like, if it was me, like, personally, if I was in that position, I mean, now it's a bit different because I'm not in some, kind yeah. of, like, fame or spotlight. But if I was in his position, I'd keep it moving. I'd be like, all right, like, calm. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you're like... He's but getting paid. Uh, you know what I think it is? All this money. He and like, is. People know he's about it. People know he's like, you know what I mean? He can punch people up. So it's like, why mm. do you need to prove it to some uni kids? Do you know the thing him? is? I don't think, I, sometimes, I, like, even looking at that, I, I don't think he was trying to scare or bully them. I think he was doing what he felt like doing in that moment. Yeah. Do you know, like, sometimes there's nothing behind it. It's like, what? You're shouting and shit at me. I'm not going to come over there and have a word of you to scare you. I'm not going to have come over there and have a word. To, I'm just going to come over there and have a word of you because that's what is right to do right now. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Some people are built different, but I just, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I say it may be, but when you're in the situation, it's different. But yo, if someone's shouting shit at me, then I'm an, I'm gonna address it. Even if that brother's got he's he's in his uni dorm and I'm a multi billionaire or whatever walking through, like, I'm gonna address you, bro. Because because you know why I say he won that because when he went into the room, everyone shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's it. So who's bad now? 
and he didn't even have to raise his voice. And I heard he took his shoes off before he went into the crib. No. That is respect, bruv. That's what you call respect, you get me? Like, man took his shoes off and went Maybe in there to address Maybe he was just about them. to dish out some Muay Thai kicks and he's taking his shoes off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or you could all be wrong, and this could all be planned That's for it. media or whatever, and just yeah. to boost his profile or whatever. Who knows? I don't believe nothing nowadays. You get me? Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, but it worked. I swear Eddie yeah. Hearn did the same thing though, didn't he? You know, he was like walking out of a fight once and someone was like, yeah. shouting something. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like, but like, but nah, like, nah, nah, but Hearn's a pussy, oh. Let me say like, this on camera. Like, yeah, yeah. You're shouting because, yourself now, didn't you? Yeah. Hearn's a big guy. Like, yeah, but, but Hearn is a pussy, oh, though, because even when I looked at Hearn when he was doing it, he looked nervous. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> he know, just kind of kept it moving. Like, I was like, relax. He's an half decent boxer anyway, and he's a big guy, so it's kind of like. Yeah, the, him and he's that Leonard Ellaby always going back and forth. I fucking love it, bro. That Mayweather's guy and him. Oh, yeah. He, he, he knows how to push buttons, man. You get me? Yeah. But yeah, obviously, listen, back to the episode and that, bro. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, music wise, are you into music and that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What'd you fuck with in that? Uh, kind of like grime, hip hop. Yeah. Um, yeah, anything like that, yeah. yeah. What kind of, what, what kind of grime? What grime? Who's your favourite grime artist now? Who'd you listen to? Favourite grime artist? Oh, he's stuck on me now. I don't know. Give, give me a top three. Top three? Know. I mean, I like gigs. I know he's not particularly grime, but yeah. gigs is up there. Uh, I like the Polo G. I'm not even naming grime artists. But yeah, still, these are just these random are artists. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polo G, the um, American brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just kind of these guys, like anything real. I listen to all sorts of music anyway, though, to be fair. So, yeah. Um, I listen to like a lot of like Spanish music sometimes. I don't know why. I just swear down. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I could even listen to like classical man. Like honestly, so one of them ones. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I just went to a metal festival like two weeks ago. And swear I was down. Like, yeah, because I used to be into that when I was young. Yeah. And I was thinking like my friends are still into it. It's so, like yeah, all right, let me go see what's happening. I went there. I was like, it was Ooh, all right. What was it like? Was it mad? mosh pits and them thing? The maddest part is I found this little. Um, it was like a little vodka bar or whatever, and they were yeah. playing like all drum and bass and that, and I was just like there for most of the time. They were like. Like, come on, Swear. we've got live bands on. I was like, no, nah, I'm just a <laughs> So, do you know what I mean? So, when I say, like, my music taste is, like, fast. But, like, yeah, yes, okay. Do you train to music? You know, like, in boxing, they train to music and stuff, like, yeah. with the movements and whatnot. Do you guys do the same thing? Just or? kind of whatever, whatever. Whatever's on in the gym. On, yeah, or, yeah. Fair, yeah, so, you okay. try to put it on something that's not too, like, not too out there. But. So, see, where does it originate from, this, the, the fighting style, is it? So, that's literally in Thailand, yeah. It's so, from... the Muay Thai started in Thailand. It was, um... It was actually invented when the Burmese were invade, invading the Thais. Okay. So it was kind of like, uh, if, if you'd like lose your weapon, it was like an arm-to-arm combat to okay. basically like yeah. just yeah, yeah. stop them as quick as you can. So Are they the most, um, obviously them having created it, mm. are, they, are they the best at it? Or is there like yeah, a region definitely. of the world where it's like them lot are really good at it? No, like? it's definitely the Thais. They're like... They're just next level, I think, and because they grow up doing it as well. So, like yeah. in the UK, you see like most people can like kick a football, you know, yeah, like half yeah, decent yeah. kick a football. That's like it with Thai. They actually teach Thai boxing in schools, so it's like everyone knows how to do Thai boxing. That's so it's mad. kind of like, and then imagine that these kids would be fighting from like the age of like eight all the way up. So by the time you fight them at sort of like twenty five, you've had like maybe twenty fights, and he's had about five hundred. So Fuck, it's, you know. like you look at all the top ties, they've had like four hundred plus fights. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause so just, they, are, they, are they like celebs out there? Um, Is it a big thing? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I think like... They've got top fighters. Yeah, you'll know like who's who sort of thing. But again, where the money wasn't in it too much, now it is. Like, So there's guys like, um, like I say, like Rod Tang who fight from one championship. Like this guy is set. Like absolute crazy money. Yeah. So there's, um, yeah, there's definitely like more money being pumped into it. And it kind of like... Yeah, like boost yeah. these guys up. To, so I'm going to check it out. I'm they get a bit more fame and stuff anyway. So yeah, through yeah. That. But, yeah. Oh, man's going to have to definitely look more into it. And that Honestly, one man. championship. You watch like a whole one championship card. You're just from start crazy. to finish. Yeah. They have the Kings Championship as well, don't they? Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, I watch like UFC sometimes and it's like, you're watching through them. It's like, oh, okay, okay. Like that fight's good. That fight. Whereas one championship from start to finish, like me personally, I think it's fire. Like the whole Swear. thing. Just, yeah, sick. Are they, and but, where, have you got a next fight penciled in or? Uh, nothing confirmed, no, nothing not confirmed yet. I'm hoping like August sort of time, so yeah. I'll be looking for that around then. UK or, do you know? Yeah, it'd be UK. Yeah. yeah We're sure. going to have to get down there, innit? Yeah, yeah. We'll have to come down, yeah. man. Watch our Muay Thai, yeah. get me. There's some wicked fight shows coming up, like some of the other guys in the gym fighting like over the next few weeks. And, yeah? Yeah. So some... Like I said, man, if you've got anyone, just send them through, man. Pass on the details. Yeah, 100%. Man. We'll get them 100%. on, man. 
We might have to turn this and we might have to just start doing a Muay Thai segment. That's it, yeah. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> You get me? Well, I might have to just go, go down there with the cameras and get a session in. Well, yeah. <laughs> get, get my ass whooped for like yeah. 10 minutes and then just... No, nah, fuck that actually. Throw I yourself in the deep Brother, end, fuck that. I'm not throwing shins and elbows. Are you mad? Yeah. No way. I've stubbed my toe before. Nah, yeah. allow it, bro. You see when you get winded, bro? I've yeah. been winded before. Have you been winded like badly? Yeah. It's like the closest thing to death. Like, it. it's... Bro, forget about it. You'd rather be like hurt bad. It's then. the leg kicks which are the maddest ones. Like you know, like in school people you see like a granddad for like knee and yeah, the, yeah. Like a granddad like knee and the leg. Like that's that's a low kick. That's like just flinging your leg at, at someone else's like oof, it's painful. I remember watching that film back in the day. I think it was called Bloodsport or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Is that Van Damme? Bloodsport. Yeah. And yeah. I think it was that but it was one with Van Damme and this guy was kicking a tree, bruv. Yeah, I don't know if you any box. He brucks the tree. Kickboxer. Yeah, that was yeah, the one. Yeah, they put shot. their hands in glass and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think when I think of Muay Thai. I don't that's know if it's it, like yeah. that. That's like a proper like American yeah. item, like the Thai box comes out like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> them ones, isn't it? <laughs> what's the brother's name? Sagat. <laughs> no, what's his name? Uh, Tongpo. Tongpo, yeah, you get me. Tongpo. Yeah, so I was thinking of a guy it's from like Street Fighter. This kicking a wall. It's crazy. Yeah, man, yeah. them man are mad, bro. Yeah. But we're definitely going to have to catch up soon, man. Yeah, you know 100%. I mean? yeah, yeah. So obviously you ain't got nothing penciled in, so there's nothing we can tell you lot to lock in, but That's throw it, your yeah. um, socials at them. Let them know your yeah, social, where they so, can find you, if they got any questions for you, whatever. Yeah, can man, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, so my Instagram's literally just Dean Blunt Fighter. Yeah. So that's probably, that's probably the best way. Um, Snapchat, I don't really put too much on there. Facebook is obviously just Dean Blunt, but yeah, Insta's probably the best way. Like, check me out on there. i got some cool stuff on there. Yeah. But yeah, always keeping active, like posting what's going on in the gym and different fight shows. So, yeah, yeah. That's good, man. Listen, just lock in. You get me? Just lock in. Obviously, you use lots. We've got a lot of people who love the combat sports. Mm. I don't know if you lots know about Muay Thai or not, but now's the perfect time to learn about it because you heard it here from the brother himself. You get me? Yeah, Man's out here throwing knees and elbows. That's it. You, know, you, 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 don't, you don't, ain't none of you trying to catch that. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not either, but. You get me? I'll just call out my man. That's it. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> trying, to get me, trying to get me clashing. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, we'll pay you. If we, if we, yeah. <laughs> we'll but just, yeah, listen. We'll film it, it's cool. Yeah, we'll, you get me. You got it. Next person to chat shit to me, yeah, I'm going to shout my man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. Calling it for a podcast. Bro, right. knees and elbows. Set it up. Strictly. Just, we're going to do a segment called the knees and elbows. That's you get it. me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we're gonna have to get him some entrance music together and shit. You yeah, get me? So yeah, man. Yeah, straight up in it, guys. Two beers. Yeah. But yeah, listen, Dean, my brother. Yeah, man. Respect for coming down. Nah, I appreciate, I appreciate it. Man. You lot, if you have locked in, shout out again for locking in. Before we go, I just want to shout out uh, Kalo Bobby. Shout out Crepes Corner. Big up Blaine's Barbershop. And big up my bro, Dean, for coming down. Till next time, we out.